What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls with the CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect hair and life journey. So today we are going to be prepping for our trim, blowout, all that, okay? So the past couple of days, my scalp has kind of been bothering me, and I've noticed I've had a little bit of buildup. So I decided before I, you know, blow dry my hair and stuff that I was going to detoxify my scalp okay and so in I don't remember what month it was but in Curlbox they sent the ORS hair repair I guess system so if you guys are interested in seeing how I detoxify my scalp then you know just keep watching but before we get into the video are you subscribed huh if the button is red see this is red that's why I pointed to this <laughs> but if the button is red that means you're not subscribed so just Punch the subscribe button and punch the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And now let's get into it. So I'm starting off on an old, old twist out. Like y'all, my hair hasn't been washed for almost two weeks. So my hair is in desperate need of some rescuing and detoxing, okay? <laughs> and just like that, my hair is separated into eight beautiful sections to help me properly distribute the products, detangle with ease, and just make my wash and blow out day so much easier. So first I'm going in with the Scalp Rescuing Detox and Renew Serum. The directions say to shake well before use, then apply a small amount to the scalp in sections while massaging for even distribution. It can be applied after cleansing and left in or as a pre-shampoo scalp treatment, which is what I'm going to be doing today. It's supposed to detoxify the scalp, calm irritation, protects against dryness, and promote an optimal environment for hair to thrive. After massaging the serum into my scalp, I'm going in with the Scalp Rescuing Detoxifying Mask. The directions say to apply to scalp and hair in sections, focusing on the scalp, combing through to ends for even distribution. Leave in for 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. And it can be used as a pre or post shampoo treatment. And of course today, we're using it as a pre-poo. It claims to remove buildup from the scalp and it delivers the benefits of a treatment mask, but also a scalp renewing exfoliator. So it's like a two-in-one type of product. Then after applying the mask, I just added a little bit of water and tried to detangle. Now I didn't find this mask to be super slippery and so I decided to actually try to detangle after putting in the drops and then putting on the mask and I found that that worked a little better for me. The drops combined with the water gave me enough slip to detangle my hair so I would definitely recommend you trying to detangle your hair prior to adding this mask. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> All right, so I really liked using this mask. As you can see, I was in okay amount. I wouldn't say it was a lot or a little bit. Um, I could probably get like, I don't know, two or three more uses out of this. 
but it felt really good going on to my hair my hair absorbed it like instantly like it penetrated my strands like immediately okay now these drops i like it because it's not like um water it actually has like a leave-in conditioner type of consistency that drops some. The only thing I would say is I wish it had a different applicator bottle. People are gonna use this in multiple ways. Some people are gonna use it as a pre-poop. Some people are gonna use it right after they wash their hair. Other people are gonna use it during the week to just kinda, you know, stimulate their scalp or whatever. I feel weird about putting this in my dirty scalp and putting it back into the bottle. And so I feel like this needed to be one of those applicator bottles that you could just go like this. Boom, 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 boom. That way there's not like, I guess, cross contamination <laughs> but I like the applicator thing they have like it's so easy to run through your scalp but it's like sometimes I can't get enough product out so yeah I just need this to be in a different bottle this I don't like detangling with it in because it coats my strands like so quickly I don't know it's like when I was trying to detangle, there was a tucking, you know? <laughs> and yeah, I just prefer not to detangle with this. It has okay slip. I don't think it's like the best, but then again, it's like a clay mask. So with clay mask, I personally don't detangle while they're in my hair because it like covers and coats the strands and just kind of, I don't know, it kind of adds like a little stiffness. So I liked to just, I like putting this on my scalp and then adding water to really, you know, I guess finger detangle it a little bit because this travels down the strands as well and it gives like a little slip. And then I just detangle and then I put on the mask. That's like the best way that I found to use it, but you can do what you want. <laughs> I think that if you use this as it's a deep conditioner right after shampooing, you shouldn't have any problems with slip and stuff like that because your hair will be soaking wet, but I like it. So the directions say to leave it on for 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go make some breakfast, warm up my hot head heating cap, wear it, and then I'll come back and show you before I rinse and just go from there. So I'll be back. So, so it's been like an hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Okay, so a couple things to know is your scalp will tingle. Uh, maybe about like five or ten minutes after I put the cap on my head. I have not not the heating cap, just the regular like plastic cap. I felt like a tingling sensation going on and I was like, ooh, this is kind of exciting. <laughs> you know, and so the products don't have like a minty smell, but I can I can feel it working on my scalp. So I like that. I like that a lot. So um yeah, I'm going to and when I do any kind of treatment, I typically like to use heat. And so the directions don't say to use heat, but that's what I do. And my hair feels really good. So I'm gonna go rinse it out and then come on back. Whew. Okay. Let's see what my hair is looking like. Oh God, mad water. Feels so good. My hair is holding on to that water. so like clean y'all should have seen the dirt that washed down 
the drain in my shower. It's a little ashamed, but I'm thinking that the detox mask worked. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be no shower action today, so I'm gonna shampoo out here. wet and I'm going in with the scalp rescuing detox shampoo and this is a sulfate free shampoo that's supposed to detoxify soothe and moisturize supposed to give you all that okay so let's see what the texture is Ooh. so this is what it's looking like oh oh this feels this feels so good this luxuriously thick formula transforms into a foaming cleanser to remove impurities and cleanse without weighing your hair down. It provides your scalp and strands the deep cleansing and exfoliating action of a clarifying shampoo without drying or stripping. The directions say to wet hair and massage onto scalp, working through to the ends. Rinse well and repeat if necessary. Y'all, this, this shampoo feels really good. Like, as soon as I put it on my head, I could feel that cooling sensation again. Such, like, the, it gives such like a, like a thick, creamy lather. As you can see, there's not soap everywhere, but it's like, I can feel the lather. It just feels so soft. Ooh, what they put in this? Now the key ingredients in all these products are rose clay, active aloe, and proprietary PE15 biocomplex, which detoxifies, soothes, moisturizes, and balances. Now I'm gonna include some more information about these ingredients and the products down in the description box. And of course the links will be there as well. So check that out if you're interested. Okay, so I'm done scrubbing up Dubbin and I'm just gonna rinse this out. I don't think that I need two shampoos with this even though my hair was like really dirty when I started because the, the mask, that detox mask, it like lifted a lot of the dirt from my scalp and my hair. Like, like I said, there was so much dirt in my tub. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rinse this out and then I'll tell you guys my final thoughts, I guess. I just wanna scrub forever though. I'll scrub forever. 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 About to get carried away. You know when you play too much and you really like go, you start going in and you just get lost in it. That was about to happen, but we we don't have time for that. So. There is water dripping everywhere. Okay, so my hair, you know, who else does a scratch test? I don't want to desperate. Okay, there's nothing under my nails. <sighs> my hair feels so good. It feels good, but it feels clean. Um, it's not like a squeaky clean type of feeling, but it's also not like super like supple and stuff like that. It just feels like hydrated or whatever. Just in case you guys want to see what my hair is looking like. Yeah, it feels like really, really, really clean, but it's not, um, it's not squeaky. Yeah, so that's what my hair is looking like, and yeah, I enjoyed this. I will definitely use this again. Definitely. 
like even when um i went to go rinse my hair out i looked in the mirror and it was like my roots were like wavy like <laughs> i don't know it was so cool but yeah i i enjoyed this i'll do this again definitely definitely so so yeah guys that's it for this video um this is just the preparation that i'm doing before i blow dry and trim my hair so in my next video i'm going to be blow drying and trimming my hair <laughs> i just wanted to make sure that my my hair and my scalp was nice and like you know clean and detoxed before i um went in with heat i'm not gonna flat iron or anything like that but you know just wanted to be good and whew, this was an amazing wash day. This is soaking wet, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put this on my head so my hair doesn't dry out. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would definitely recommend you trying these. Uh, my favorites are these two. I like the drops, but I don't like the packaging as much. Um, the packaging is cute, but for it to be more functional, I need it to be like a mm, 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 type of thing, but it feels good. I just needed a different bottle, that's all. That's it guys, uh, let me know down below if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. Let me know down below if there are any detox masks or things that you do for your hair and your scalp. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good vibes. Bye!